This is Scott with Michigan Pool News, and this month is uh, Compliance Month, and uh, we've got a pretty good article. We're going to have two or three really good videos on just things that you need to think about for compliance. One of the things that I have here is uh, this, and everybody should have one of these in their aquatic facility, and it is a contingency plan. This is part of the DEQ's attempt to make sure that you guys are taking care of your pool property properly. Um, what to do with contaminations, and we're going to have another video on contaminations also. This one happens to be a uh, Charlotte Aquatic Facility, and um, it shows the, the Barry Eaton Health Department and who to contact. It shows uh, the site name, and then it talks about a fecal incident response recommendation for the pool staff so they know what to do. Um, we actually had people swimming in a pool that had a fecal incident, and, and nobody knew to even shut it down. So, <clears throat> making people aware, and it's a good month to do it. It's Compliance Month, uh, so everybody enjoy Michigan Pool News. Thanks for viewing.